What's up, Digidestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we're going to be going over all the cards you should be getting your hands on before the BT16 drop. So without further ado, let's dive in the video and talk about it. We're starting it off with, let's say, the Valkyriemon Ace. Valkyriemon Ace is kind of one of those cards that kind of gets splashed in. It does has it has its own deck that is a Sylphimon focus. You can play it in two other decks decks as well and that will be related to lord nightmon because lord nightmon can combo in shenanigans wise and make valkyrie ace come in for its on play cost and really make your opponent have a bad day because this minusing 5000 dp blanket effect plus ruin mode on top of it it's like ruin mode turbo that you play valkyrie mon ace kind of goes there also what you do with it is you combo it in with something like the Numemon deck, because of how the deck's designed, it does have a yellow boss Digimon focus. With its Mumzemon X antibody and its regular Mumzemon, you will now be able to have access to something that is a blanket effect. This lasts till the end of your opponent's turn, which means Valkyrie Ace has more advantage in this way. If you are planning on playing Numemon, the Numemon cards you want to do this, you want to play Valkyrie Ace. It just combos extremely well with the deck. Then you do have the version with Lord Nightmon, which you want to take Nightmon itself, you know, Gladimon, the Kotemon plus, you know, Bushy Agu, just to go comboing off and just being in a nuisance. These, these things do add up. And then there is two versions of Valkyrie Mon you can kind of play as. You can focus it on more of a yellow base strategy where it focuses on the Gato package using like Gatomon from BT15 and the Gatomon with Barrio promo to do all the shenanigans and focus on more of a yellow based theme or use like old Sylphimon as well. There's also a theme that is focused in the red base, which you'll tech in like Beomon because of the ability by trashing one card with avian bird beast and other sea animal in one of your traits in your hand. Reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one red card to your hand, return the rest to the bottom of the deck. You know, it combos in with nicely with Sora. You know, Yoli is very useful because being able to play a Hawkmon, which will be your promo Hawkmon, just being able to search and add one red, yellow, two or more colors, or and one tamer among with Yoli in its name among them to your hand, return the rest of the bottom. And then it has the DNA of Digivolve effect. There's a lot of potential here. And as you know, if you're going the yellow route, you need Magna Mon Ace. And all the goodies there can really matter. That's why you splash in like Rapid Mon and TKs. If you are going the Numei route, you just basically pick up the Numei Core. And then, you know, the Satsukis and all the good stuff there. Or if you're going red base, you just grab the Hawkmon from like BT8. You grab Sh Sheer. This card is... At least decent, you know, one of your opponent's Digimon with block or can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. Really solid game strat here. You know, the kind of two eggs you want to use is either Koromon or Tokomon. That's kind of self-explanatory. All in all, really good stuff coming in. Hawkmon should have a reprint for promo because it is actually a more requirement than you think when you're deck building because Hawkmon is actually quite needed. Then we do have Phoenixmon X Antibody. This has a couple X Antibodies in BT16 that helps out with the overall effects. You're gonna wanna pick up the Bird Core as well. You know, Yokomons, both Yoko eggs are really good going into it just because of their effects. You know, Beomon across the board is that you wanna grab BT11 because it's a searcher. You have Beomon that is a on deletion returning one in Christie to warp. This one does a Beomon search. We talked about this in the previous one. And you have like Bergemon here from BT11, Bergemon from BT15, you know, Grudemon from 11 just for the blocker. Then you also have the Grudemon that combos in with the Beomon that wants to warp. You know, you can play one red tamer to replay cost without paying its cost, which is you'll be just replay Chrissy. Then you also have Grudemon Ace as an option just because it can play a tamer. And then delete one of your opponents if you want with blocker. You know, Phoenix Mon is just going to be generically, it's either BT11 you're going to be playing or BT15. Your choice at that point, you combo kind of a mixture with Phoenix Mon X Antibody. The deck is quite good that way. You know, Wings of Love is definitely an option that you really want to have in the list. 
Then you have Akihiko. Akihiko is just really powerful because you just want, you want to have a tamer, all three of these tamers, Sora, Chrissy, and Akihiko. They just flow really well. They combo really nicely with each other and just do their shenanigans. Make sure you have those. Then we are getting into Vmon territory. First off, we're going to talk about Imperial Jamon Fighter Mode. It has an ace. It has another evolution into this and it has full lines here. There's multiple routes you can go. There are definitely you can go Warmon as a route just because it is a searcher. It has the DNA effect. It's just really important to have that end of turn DNA. And then boom, you go into it. A lot of players are using Warmon, which they use Ken a little bit too sometimes. Most of the time it is Davis's and Davis and Ken. You know, BT3 Davis followed by Davis promo are very utilized in every list far. And then you do have some people that like to do Davis and Ken shenanigans because, hey, you do have access, though there is a new Davis and Ken that'll play your stuff. really does help out. You know, for threat removals here, you have like Mega Death, Giga Death, and then followed by Hammer Spark. They're really u utilized tools. And with Pi Yildramon, you want to use the probably like two of this one from BT12 and then four of this one and then four of the new one. Consistency is key here. Lydramon is just a good bridge gap because you can either go with Stingmon from BT12 and XVmon from BT12 because one gives jamming, one gives piercing, and then it, you know, when DNA digivolve into a blue Digimon, gain a memory. Same thing with XVmon, they just combo and complementary wise. But you can also do EX1 XVmon with jamming and jamming inheritable, or Stingmon with the ability for it to come in for reduced cost three and then basically joggers and go into there but you want to grab your vmons your vmons are going to be vital like bt12 searcher vmon then you know the when attacking draw is vital then the vmon from starter deck nine revealing top three cards of your deck just really does help out you know add one free among them place the remaining at the bottom as i said earlier in the video bt promo 117 is vital in the deck Wormon's also another target that you want because it's able to search out for Imperial Jamon or free. And if you are playing Ken, because it is looking for Ken's, it can in its name, it can grab the dual tamers as well. All in all, and some lists are playing Hammer Sparks and Hidden Potential Discover just to round out their potentials. Then we do have Armor Boy. There's two ways of playing it. You can go yellow vaccine route, which is you play the Patamons, both Patamon from BT14 and Patamon Promo 112. And then you kind of use more of the armor armor route, which is using like rapids and they use Rapidmon X antibody with Magnamon X antibody as dual targets. The new ones, that is a splashable idea. There's also the tried and true blue route, which is basically the Vmons that we just talked about earlier. The searcher Vmons, the draw inheritable Vmons, and then the Reduce DG Evolution on promo 117. Then you have Magnas and Golden Vidramon as options because A, the Magnas are what you really want to have because you want to get into Magnamon X Antibody. You know, that does help out. Then you have also, some people are saying you play BT9s as a one of in the list, which isn't a bad idea. It's a good solid tech. Things like the aces that people want to play are Angel Woolmon, Magnamon Ace, and Pseudomon Ace have all seen consistency use in the list. The things that you also want to take in the account for options wise, some lists are playing final Zubagram punch because you do have, you know, Magmon X antibody gaining the DP boost. You know, this thing will gain blocker, reboost, security attack one, and being able to punch in more really does help out, especially with comboed in with fire rocket. Those lists are playing those, you know, have X antibody protoform to help reduce the evolution cost here. Some lists are actually even playing Emissary of Hope. This is just because you can skip Evolution Climb, depending on the list you're playing. It just gets really ridiculous, and then you want to be playing your TKs in this list if you're playing Emissary. Blinding Ray is also being seen as a two of in the list, just because of the fact of the Blinding Ray will trigger Magnamon X Antibodies effect. And, you know, it's just a big boss protection shenanigans. Then Awakening the Golden Digi Knight. Golden Knight. This card is... You may, you may digivolve one of your armors, forms, and into, traits into a Digimon with Magnamon in its name. In your hand, ignoring Digi-Evolution requirements and without paying its memory costs, Digimon that digivolves with this effect cannot have its DP reduced by your opponent's effects until the end of your opponent's turn. It doesn't get around like Mumze and stuff like that. It is another thing you have to worry about. Then some lists are playing Heaven's Judgment because... 
three colors it's in instantly just notoriously broken with this then you have shoe being emit to x antibody you'll tuck in with alliance giving it alliance and swing in since he's going to be a beefy target anyway comboing with final super gun punch and fire rocket makes your opponent have a bad day and then you do see like davis here as well there's plenty of routes you can go about it just keep that in mind then we did get support in sun and moon Sun and Moon got Agumon and it got a Ga Galgamon. Both are really vital for the deck strategy because it now gives it another rookie and a champion, which this deck needed for consistency. If you need to want to play this deck, things you want to take into account is like Sunmon and Moonmon, Lunamon, Coronamon, Lycusmon, Flaremon, Cressmon, Flaremon, you know, Apollo with Diana and Grace Nova are vitally important. And then you need the Sayo and Ko and Ko and Sayo as you want to have these both tamers going then you some lists have played mirage galga just being mirage galga because you build up these really big stacks that have inheritable power-ups you know mirage can just be ridiculous pretty quickly keep that in mind there's plenty of things you want to do like good night moon and phoebus blow is really useful then you do have yellow we're going into it goldramon x antibody was introduced in the set so that means people are starting to tech it with you know what are we going to be teching it with we're going to be teching it with none other than the seven trials of the four great dragons the lists that do are playing them are like azula mom ace you know you need goldramon because you are going to goldramon x Angelwoman, Arrow Vidramon, Gato, Agumon, Padas, and Nerumon, all vital cards for the list. Some lists are playing Renamon just because of the end of on play until the end of opponent's turn. Two of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP cannot attack. Just preventative measures are really solid. You know, I did see Sukuyamon made mode be used, which is kind of expected because you do have play costs five options. Like even God Flare, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 dp for the turn then you may return one four great dragons traits from your trash to your hand just comboing off sukuyamon made mode it just does things you know we've seen takuya tai and kari as options for tamers and then tai and kari for tk and kari for another option as well then we do get into the you know Gatomon armor if you guys haven't heard of what this list does it's a very simple stock list that likes to do some crazy shenanigans. If Ogus is on Gatomon armor form, which are only two right now, and that is Lynxmon, which is raid and armor purged when Digivolving one of your opponents Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Also plays Nefertimon. When attacking one of your opponents Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP for the turn, which, you know, leads into armor texture. This thing is allowing you to switch in and out of your Digivolutions and then unsuspend that this Digimon. You're going to take your Gatomon, go into Neferti, swing in, hopefully lower some stuff, and then use armor form to go into Lynxmon and just keep doing that for comboing in and you deal a lot of damage pretty quickly. You know, there are lists that are playing Awaken in the Golden Digizord because they are playing the Magnamon X antibody option because Neferti and Lennoxmon are both valuable targets that you can j skip climb with because they are yellow targets. That's something to keep in mind. Cards they use are like Lewis and Uku's just to combo off and keep going and going, going, going. Then you have like Patasalas, you know, Patamon. If it's yellow and it's vaccine related, you are going to see Pata in every list. Salamons are just generically good. You know, Salamon here that lets you DNA. If you're playing like Chimera, you can definitely do that. Salamon is basically when you have three or more security, draw a card, lets you fuel. Salamon here is when your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000 DP. This Salamon has a starter main phase. If you have three or more security, add the top card of your security stack to your hand. If you have two or fewer, you may place one yellow Digimon card with vaccine and traits from your hand at the top of your or bottom of your security stack. Then when a card is removed from your secure sack, when your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP for the inheritable, you know, we've seen Nerumon as an option because when a, you buy trash in the top or bottom of your secure sack, gain one memory or Tokemon for the draw. And then Revelation of Light's just nasty, especially with Kari on board. Well, there's a lot of potential Ruin modes kind of seen and Angelwomon Ace as well. Then we got Tyrant Kabuterimon. Anything that was Tentomon to the what? Hercules Kabuterimon in BT15 you want to pick up 
just really vitally bug support that is really good. Even the Montemon is one that you want to have as well, just because that allows your attacks come in. You know, Super Shockers is another option that gets really used. Izzy is just mainstead that you want to have in this list. Some lists do play Quagamon X Antibody because it combos really nicely with the Quagamon promo. You can play zero to four of this with no questions. It's whatever you feel preferable on it. Stigmon and Kabuterimon are all insects. But you want to definitely have these because they're one cost evolves that give some unique inheritable strats. Then you have like Lopmon to give alliance because sometimes that's what you want to have because then you can clear out more security. Some lists have played Shivamon just because shutting down options does matter in some circumstances. We've seen Rhino Kabuterimon as an option as well that you can evolve into your insects you know that really does help out because it helps skip climb like that is very important there and then you have kokuamon and kuamon x antibody as just searchers as well all in all these are usually what cards you want to expect terrymon's just in here for making izzy cheaper then we do have the golden rappa x antibody you can play if you guys haven't gotten your hands on it the advanced deck will basically give you everything you kind of need for the future Rapidmon X antibody support, minus like Mimi. You might need to pick up some Mimis there. We have like Kalamon here as an option as well, just because of the ability to, you know, suspend this Digimon, gain a memory, draw a card. And the fact that when you would play this, reduce the play cost by two for if you have Gilmon, Terrymon, Renamon, or Inmon in play, it can't attack. It's just there for value. Double Typhoon, you know, you're going to be playing your bunny, your doggos the way you want to. Some lists have gone in the route of the Jega and Tortomon route to just do a get into Mega Gargo or Rapidmon X as an option, keeping that in mind. And also, you want to get Rapidmon. Like I said, you can get this out of the struck the advanced deck very easily with no questions asked keep that in mind when you're just deck building next we're getting into black if you want to play d brigade this format they got new support they got some really solid support in the form of their bt16 and then has one of the longest cards as a delay option because why not if it's named command Jermon, you pick it up plain and simple bt14 you want to have you want to have Command Jermon from BT3. You want to definitely have BT4. Then the one that gives EXO3 the jamming. Then you also have Command Jermon with five. There is the blocker Command Jermon. You really don't want to use that one. Another option is using Ryuta line to go into their higher ups, which is Oryumon, which can lead to being Chaosmon X as well. The Chaosmon as well. Some lists do play Mega Gargo Ace because of how powerful it is. Some lists are just playing the gay Dark Dark Tremon. That is an option as well. You know, like I said, the Ryudo line is in this as well. You have like Satsuki and DCD Bomb. You know, Cargo Dramon with High Commandro with the gay Dramon. Then we do get into Black here. We have like Armadillo Mon. This is for the this list here, Shukuko Mon. This card uses Participating is probably one of the weaker of the three that got introduced what this digimon isn't affected by effects of your opponent's digimon until the end of their turn then if you dna place one of your opponent's digimon whose level is less than or equal to the number of cards in your opponent's security stack at the bottom of your opponent's security stack not a bad trade-off it's very powerful you know you do also want to play the old school one because you guys have access to different color ranges like what interest what's interesting about this set is that most of the lines are produced in the set it's kind of self-contained minus like a few things like the armadillos you want to pick up you know patamons you want to possibly pick up depending on how you want to design the list tk cody also value you know you have Ruin Mode, the Seraphes, because Seraphemon is pretty decent in the list. The combo it in with your Vikemon, Ace, and it's going to town. Then you have like Dark Maildramon as an option just because it is black and blue. It kind of fills in the slot for your uh, once you're trying to do the yellow combinations. There are possibilities here. And then Final Zubagon Punch because you need the aggression in this. Then you do have the introduction of Dorugamon, the C version. This thing combos really nicely with the old support. It also likes the new, new support as well. You can play the Marvin Jackson stuff, which was the Aerodramon, then the 
Mega Dramon plus the Marvin Jackson itself as a complete set, and it combos really nicely with each other. What's there's nothing wrong with how the list goes. If you want to play Shu, you could play Shu to tech in the Ryuta to give a really solid protection. Most of the time, it is the Doromons you're going to be using, and you know Doro Doruga is very vital in until they give you the BT17 version. And, you know there is lists that go Dex Darugamon as an option, or they just Focus on double Darugamon. There's no wrong way of playing the deck. It's just whatever you comfortably want to play. And it's an X-Antibody deck. We use X-Antibody and Protoform as options as well. Cool Boy's vital in this because you do have Dex Daruga and Dex Daruga. Doro Gray. There's there's some good stuff there. You know, Dor Dorumon is just really solid. And you want to have Dorimon. Dorimon. There's two options with that one. And you just go to town with that enjoy what you got going then we do have the x antibody line with Sh shaku shakoman and the you know guess gasoman this thing here is both their x antibody combos in nicely and gives the inheritables there's just plenty of stuff you can do if you're going to be playing leviah there's multiple routes you could go you can do Anubis Merva kind of Levia, or just Levia in general, just doing its normal shenanigans where you just use a lot of draw, get it into trash as soon as possible to make sure your seventh lightning and biting crush are active as soon as possible. There's just plenty of ways of going about it. There's no wrong answers of how you want to build Levia. You know, some lists are teching my Spawn Ace with Oro C and Dragomom. Some lists are even just playing Cerberus X Antibody with, you know, Durbo. Doberman X Antibody. You do want to have an X Antibody in the list. Protoform. Proto. Proto. Protoform is really nice if you can get it underneath a Garumon X as an option. Since the deck will now have an innate X Antibodies going into it, you could definitely use more Protoform or just use the regular X Antibody. Then you do have Cherubimon. Cherubimon definitely needs some more support. I think the next wave actually helps it just a little bit more. One of the creators pushes for Alliance a lot. That's why we're seeing more of it. All in all, it's the same thing. Pick up the advanced deck. You get a decent amount of the Alliance stuff and then anything else you're going to have to just clean up in EX04. And the deck is just straight up, make big numbers, swing in and just go to town. I mean, Cherubimon X is nothing to scoff at. When, when digivolving, when attacking, you may play one level four or lower, yellow or green Digimon card from your hand or trash without paying its cost. And if turn once per turn, if Cherubimon or X anybody's in this Digivolution, delete one of your opponent's level four or lowers for each of your up of your other Digimon, add one max maximum level which can be chosen. This is across the board really solid. You know, sometimes you'll see Mother D Reaper in the list just so that they can get big numbers and make it they like, walk across very easily. All in all, great stuff. Anything that was related to Cherubi, you kind of just play. You know, Willis and Mimi are really solid. You know, Double Typhoon because you do have Lops and Terriers. Then like, you know, Heaven's Judgment is really useful because you are two, two to three colors at any time. Then we do have Pulsemon here. Because Pulsemon got Shroudmon and a full evolutionary line across the board, there's multiple ways of playing it. You know, they all kind of gain the ability to search for evolution with the newer support, so that they're always looking for Pulsemon in name. You know, Palmon's going to be definitely really useful. Pal is supposed to be really useful for this list early. I don't know if it's going to make continuation. You know, you can use Impulse Memory Boost as an option as well. You have like Ritsu, you have Lonke Alistados, Sama Sasantis. If you want to go green route, you can go Shiva, or you could go Kazuzuchimon with Shroudmon, or you could go Shroud with, you know, Shiva. There's no wrong way of going about it. You know, anything that's Bulkmon or Pulsemon related, you want to pick up from, you know, promos to straight up just BT6 and BT8. That's just really useful there. Then you do have the introduction of Solugama plus the Dino B. That does definitely help and add in some consistency. Oh, let's get analog analog youth at the end of the day you do have some value here with analog youth and i ig natsumi here nagasumi nagasumi and analog youth are really useful you know you got lugas fangmon lugamon you know black gato uv you know black gato just normal rush shenanigans because then you have like tyrannomon from the last set it's just a really powerful card because you get to free play it you know, Heluga, Solugas, you know, plenty of value here, especially with the Suluga, you know, get yourself the deck ready. The low end core really at the end of the day is what you're going to be hunting. 
because the mat the, the level six is kind of just change out fen reluga is a combo deck at this point then we did get a i talked about it earlier dino b here dino b mon is here to combo in really nicely with the imperial jamon stuff we'll have to see if the next wave of support really makes the deck really competitively viable i'm really hope we'll have to see you know pick up anything that was ex3 related the vmon shade mon flame mon you know dino b and all really useful you know analog youth miss memory boost you want the imperial jamon dragon and fighter demi maras are both really powerful filtering cards and then you do need the promo shade jamon at a full play set i feel there is no reason not to be playing at a full and then we do have Uku, big Uku boy. Big Uku just says on deletion return all tamers to their owner's hand. Then you may play one tamer from your hand and one Ukumon from your trash without paying its cost. End of your turn by returning one egg card from your trash to the bottom of the DG egg deck. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. Then you may play one level four or lower from your hand to the breeding area without paying its cost. It just combos in. You know, there's two ways of playing it. You could just go a blue route which was using like Lunamon because the Lunamon's ability to bounce can get you some pieces generation back and extend your plays, especially once you go into big Uku. It just has some value there. I've seen Zudamon Ace and Weregrumon Ace in the list. You have like Jellymon as well, and you have like Examon as a viable target. There's just much potential on how you want to play the deck. You know, you have Louie as well in the deck, then there are some lists that just went with the Uku and Big Uku into, you know, Balfamon sleep mode as another option to be aggressive. All this deck just tries to build up and get tempo going. And there's a lot of potential with all these lists. So guys, what did you think? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.